Hi everyone, welcome to Publer's channel. My name is Arkeo and together we'll go down the rabbit hole of Twitter changes in 2023. From crazy API price changes to for sale blue ticks and gold check marks, let's get into the most interesting changes Twitter has gone through so far. Let's start with a good one. Twitter Incorporation no longer exists. It is now X Corp and it reflects the vision that Elon has had for Twitter for a long time now. To make it X Corp, an everything app. And that will also include making payments inside the app and much more. But more on that later. One of the most significant changes this year has been introducing the new API tiers. Twitter has offered a free API for years, but now Elon feels that the free API has been abused by Vox. So he decided to offer three API tiers. It's been rumored that the low-cost enterprise plan could cost as much as 42k per month. Yep, you heard it right, $42,000. It is likely that the news has hurt many software companies that use Twitter's API to engage directly with Twitter's data for ad campaigns, creating targeting criteria and pulling analytics. Many have dropped Twitter, such as Microsoft, or are allowing their customers to add their own Twitter API key like FeedHive, while some, such as Hootsuite, have gotten rid of their free version due to the price increases. Besides the crazy API prices, Publer has decided to keep Twitter, but also retain its free version because we know how much it matters to our users. It is worth noting, however, that the free version does not include Twitter accounts. But if you're not a Twitter-focused brand, you can enjoy all the other amazing features included in the free version. And if you want to manage Twitter accounts through Publer, you can just upgrade to one of our professional or business plans. Another significant change in Twitter is the paid verification program for the blue tick or gold checkmark. Twitter decided to remove all legacy blue ticks and introduced a blue verification program for just $8 per month. Anyone can now apply for the blue tick and be verified by paying for it. You don't need to have a branded name or to be famous, you just need to pay. There are several benefits for being a Blue subscriber, including priority in replies, mentions, and search, which in turn leads to more reach and engagement. Blue subscribers also have the ability to post long videos and tweets with 10,000 characters. But most importantly, Blue subscribers are the only ones with the ability to run ads and use two-factor authentication. The changes regarding verification have caused some controversy on the platform because it is believed it has created opportunities for scammers and spammers to advance their efforts within the app. Recently, it has been discovered that some Twitter Blue subscribed profiles are using AI-generated profile pictures and have been approved by the program even though there are not human entities. On the other hand, some users feel that the Blue Tick has lost its significance now that it can be purchased for a monthly fee. Several organizations such as the New York Times and BuzzFeed while also celebrities like Stephen King and LeBron James decided to forego the Blue subscription, resulting in their loss of the Blue tick. What do you think about the Twitter Blue program? Are you a subscriber? Leave a comment below. Moving away from Twitter Blue, here are some other noteworthy updates. In March, Twitter launched an eight-part educational video marketing series called Unskippable, which provides practical guidance on the essential components of eye-catching video clips that stand out in the Twitter feed. It would be amazing if Twitter continues to provide more of these tips to help users better understand the algorithm. And since we're talking about the algorithm, Twitter has also made a portion of the source code publicly available, which motivated experts to reveal how the algorithm works. It has been discovered that likes and retweets are the primary factors that increase a tweet's exposure in users' timelines. A slider will be added to the app soon, allowing you to enable encryption for your direct messages, which will also provide extra privacy for your conversations. Twitter is making progress towards allowing payments within the app, as reported by the Financial Times, which stated that the company has started applying for the necessary licenses in the US states. Elon Musk has expressed his desire for Twitter to become an all-in-one app, and this includes facilitating payments. Twitter is reportedly already exploring various options to enable in-app payments, including the possibility of introducing maybe Twitter coins, which would allow users to donate to creators through on-profile tipping. The platform has added a new metric, 
tweet bookmarks to the details display of tweets, which shows users more information about how their tweets are being shared. And that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed going down the rabbit hole of Twitter changes with me and that you didn't get too lost in the process. Who knows what the future holds for Twitter and social media as a whole, but one thing's for sure, it will never be boring. And Pablo will always find a way to make sure your social media game is on top. Until next time, keep on tweeting, scheduling your tweets through Pablo, and remember to use those likes and retweets to boost your exposure. Cheers!